Hi guys. Um, so today we're out on a beach and uh, we're doing a bit of wild cooking. Uh, I've done a bit of foraging and I found a perfect meal for tonight. If you come around, I'll show you what I've got. So here we have a beautiful box jellyfish. Beautiful this time of year. You can see it's really nice and fresh. Perfect. So what I'm just going to do, uh, the perfect tool is an axe to chop this up with. And it's all about the slicing motion. So you slice it up like that. Beautiful. Nice, even strokes. Perfect. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take this back to the frying pan. Nice jellyfish broth. If you want to, if you want to, if you want to, you can get a little bit faster with it. Beautiful. Oh hi! Welcome back to camp. So we've got the jellyfish in the pan. Uh, Luckily, this is a British coastline, so you can literally find anything you want on the beach. Anything gets like drifted up. So this is a beautiful, lovely saucepan. I think it's from Tesco. Uh, just it says Tesco on the back. And so yeah, we've chucked in the beautiful fresh jellyfish, and we're just frying it, frying her up now. And uh, oh yeah, it looks really good. I can't describe to you the beautiful smell we're getting from this right now. It's honestly, it's beautiful. The Japanese have got a great name for this. They call it Hoshinaka! And uh, that basically means uh, fried jelly. So, really excited just to see how this comes out. Um, just a brilliant bit of protein, just what you need to keep yourself warm on a hard night's camp along the Exmoor coast. Okay, so. Uh, one side of the jellyfish is beautifully braised right now. Uh, nice golden um, sizzling texture to the outer skin. Uh, in, uh, in the industry we call it a uh, membrane. The membrane is now brown, is what we'd say. Uh, so what we have to do, we have to do the old flipperoo. And uh, it's a very, very easy technique to master. You just gotta swish it around, a three, a two, a three, two, one. Oh, yes, that's how it goes, perfect. So now, as you can see, the stingers, the stingers, which are these things, are now facing upright, prone, and it's just a matter of braising the other, the other side, and it's ready for the plate. Oh, <laughs> didn't see you there. Welcome back to the workshop. So, it's just about ready to dish it up, and I cannot tell you how good this smells right now. I don't know if you've ever been to a dockyard or maybe like a little fishing village. Well, a lot of the time the fishermen, they come in, they bring the fish and they process the fish there and then, um, you know, in front of the whole public to see. And what they do is they discard all the fish heads and all the guts and just ch chuck it to the corner. And, you know, those fish heads can be left there for up to, you know, six, seven hours fermenting in the heat. And that is the smell we're trying to achieve right now. It's perfect. Ready. Let's have a little zoom in here and we can just see the tentacles. Perfect. And it's ready for the plate. Ready for the plate. So, I know what you're going to say, but you're in the middle of nowhere. Where are you going to get plates? And I'll tell you this for nothing. The beach has provided us with that solution. Follow me over here. Standard bucket from a hardware store. Perfect. Um, the bucket itself probably has developed a bit of flavour now, being out here for God knows how long. So we've gently just put the jellyfish in the bucket and it's ready to eat. Right, so it's all finished and we're ready to do the taste test. I personally cannot wait to sample the delights of what the bucket of mystery can deliver. So, gently, using your handcrafted knife, pick up 
a beautiful, beautifully cooked specimen. And there's a unique way of actually eating this. You just take a little bit in your mouth. Beautiful. Uh, salty flavors. Um, how can I describe the flavor? Um, say if you've got a big bowl of beautiful spaghetti and you go just to add that little bit of salt, that just might, might make your meal a bit nicer. You go to tip the salt and the whole fucking lid falls off into the spaghetti and completely ruins it. And that is the flavor we have achieved today. Really happy with the result. Uh, it's gonna keep us warm. It's gonna keep us fed for the whole entire time we're here. Bon appetit.